Hello, dear ladies and gentlemen. My topic is risk of policy in general technological practice. So, according to the, uh, to the explanation of World Health Organization, false syndrome disease is inadvertently <coughs> coming to the rest of the ground floor or other level, excluding intentional change in position and rest on furniture, wall, or other subjects. So, in uh, international classification disease, there are a special chapter for false, when, uh, where we can find falls, for example, due to ice and snow, falls from bad chair, chairs, and the others. Uh, so, um, according to the Center of Stopping Elderly uh, Disease and Injuries in the, uh, in the USA, um, up to uh, 2030, the amount of people over 65 years old will increase in 38%. Uh, the amount of falls and injuries uh, will be increased respectively too. Uh, so 30% of people over 65 years old uh, falls every year. 42% uh, of people uh, over uh, 70 years old falls every two years and practically every person under 18 years old falls every year. So first, 50% uh, uh, of fallings lead to a fracture. Uh, near uh, 37 million of people need a special medical help and 2% uh, uh, of all uh, falls uh, due to deaths. Uh, so, in 56% uh, of cases, uh, falls occurs uh, outside home. So, women are uh, more likely uh, to fall syndrome than a uh, male population. But according to the uh, rates of uh, fatal falls, um, male population are uh, more. Uh, more frequently, and even uh, in uh, some uh, age groups, uh, two times more often. Uh, so, World Health Organization um, gave <coughs> us uh, some uh, uh, some risk factors, uh, false risk factors, and we can divide it into four parts. Uh, the first is a behavior risk factors. Uh, that means that uh, we should know. Uh, all side effects of medicine, for example. Uh, this is about excess of alcohol uh, use, um, lack, lack of exercises. Another part, this is uh, biological factors. This is, for, for example, gender, uh, age, some uh, chronic or acute diseases. Another part, this is uh, social economic risk factors and environmental risk factors. Uh, so uh, here we can see the examples of some uh, drugs that we use, for example, uh, in uh, psych uh, psychiatric uh, to treat different diseases uh, that uh, can increase uh, the risk of fall syndrome. Another part of drugs uh, that we use in uh, card to treat in treatment of cardiovascular diseases. This is anti-hypertension drugs or uh, cardiac glycosides or nephritis. And in other big parts, this is analgetics and unfortunately here is also non-steroid anti-inflammation drugs. Uh, so, as uh, many risk factors uh, from the disease of the nervous system are uh, different vertebral <coughs> vascular institutions, stroke, uh, such diseases like Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer, epilepsy disease, uh, multiple scler sclerosis. Um, different if we have different problem problems with uh, sensory organs uh, like uh, cataract uh, or bifocal uh, of using bifocal lenses uh, or uh, some problems with ear like ear infection. Another part, this is problem with musculoskeletal system, for example, osteoarthritis, sarcopenia, osteoporosis, 
and uh, peripheral vertebra vertebral problems like uh, benign paroxysmal uh, positional vertigo, labyrinthitis, uh, some infection of a nervous vestibular cochlearis, and the others. Uh, so, uh, women with diabetes uh, are uh, practically two times more likely to get a fall syndrome. Uh, persons from Parkinson's disease uh, had a two-fold increased risk of fracture and three-fold increased risk of uh, hip fracture and also increased uh, risk uh, even till 68% uh, appearance of falls. Uh, incontinence also are, people with incontinence are uh, also in a risk uh, factors in, in a risk group of fall syndrome. Uh, people with Alzheimer's disease have twice the risk of falling, uh, twice bigger risk uh, of falling. Uh, here is another risk factors like muscles weakness, uh, guide defi deficit, visual deficit. So, how we can diagnose this problem? So, the first and the main, uh, the main uh, point is uh, uh, to know, to get information about complaints. For example, uh, we should know if a person has some new problems with hearing, with vision, maybe a person get a headache or palpitation. Another thing, this is, uh, uh, this is history, history of, uh, of the disease or history of life. Uh, we should get information about some new drugs, about chronic and acute diseases, about new injuries, uh, so another thing is that blood pressure and glucose level should be every time in control. Uh, if we have some, um, if if we don't, uh, we also uh, can to have consultation with neuropropal doctors to do neuroimaging, imaging, or and of course the main is uh, and the easiest is uh, to to take a questionnaire on awareness of the risk of falls. So here is uh, some examples. Um, and the Center of Disease Control and Prevention Stopping Elderly Incidents, Death and Injury, uh, they propose us to use just three very easy uh, questions. They propose us to ask everybody who are over 65 years old uh, this question, for example, have you have you fallen in the past year? Do you feel unsteady when you are standing or walking, or or uh, do you worry about falling? And if we hear yes uh, to one of these questions, that means that uh, further uh, assessment is uh, we should do further assessment. So consequences. So to be part one is psychological, another is uh, physical. So near uh, seventy percent of uh, people they have a fear uh, to fall. They also uh, have a fear to lose independence, uh, to get immobilization or, or limitation of daily activities. Uh, about uh, physical consequences. Near 50% uh, need emer emergency medical care, uh, and uh, falls are in 40% uh, uh, the reason of uh, death from injuries. So prevention. The main is to treat uh, the treatment the underlying uh, disease. Another point is uh, Otago Exercise pro Program. Uh, it uh, consists of uh, five uh, exercises for a strange and uh, well-balanced exercise and uh, uh, it can decrease uh, the risk of false syndrome up to 35%. Another point is extra supplementation of vitamin D and uh, also people can use extra devices uh, such as like cans. <coughs> Uh, so, uh, World Health Organization, uh, they uh, propose us to use uh, very simple and easily things in prevention of fall syndrome. This is a uh, hip protector. Uh, 
of course it cannot protect people from falling but it can protect from uh, hip fractures which are also important uh, what has a uh, housing uh, organization proposed us to communicate to speak with our patient and uh, and to get some information about very simple things like uh, to like the light should be on should be on every time that uh, people should use uh, entrails uh, when they go uh, upstairs on downstairs about uh, about uh, rubber mats in bathroom and the others and uh, in Ukraine it is not so popular but in the world there are special devices like false detectors so for example if somebody <coughs> falls down they click the bottom and in few minutes a special organization will come and help to, to stand up so I wish everybody to be in balance thank you very much <coughs> What is the reason for more you know, death cases due to falls in males in comparison with females? Uh, what has a uh, World Health Organization explained this? Uh, because uh, male population are more risky and for example they are more often, uh, often help from, uh, from the height or and uh, another uh, point is that they don't, uh, uh, they are not uh, in very good communication with health provider. So women are going more regular to doctors if they felt not good uh, than men. This, this uh, point. Thank you. It was a very good overview, and as a geriatrician, I cherish always these these uh, overviews because it's it's really a problem. Uh, answering your question, we have a statistics in Austria, death from falling. And uh, the reason for death in males is overwhelmingly a brain injury. Whereas women most uh, certainly get a hip fracture and die. And so we have a high... I don't know why. Yeah? Perhaps everybody has this weak point. I don't know. Yeah? Um, but one thing that's never been addressed is quite interesting that uh, the reason for falling is multiple, and except in, 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 you can't do very much, for example, in neurodegenerative diseases like Parkinson's disease, so it's, it's really difficult to intervene. Um, but there was a pilot study in, in Japan at least 10 years ago. Um, one reason why people are hurt is because they have no fall reflexes. <laughs> Children fall all the time, when you see them uh, with nice fall reflexes, they don't do anything. You can redevelop these reflexes by training. The Japanese uh, put some, some old people in, in, in airbags, yeah? <laughs> in big airbags, and then they were smashing them down and smashing them down for two months, which is, doesn't sound very nice, actually, but they really redeveloped these fall reflexes. So perhaps we should, uh, the, with, with physiotherapists, we should work on a solution how we can actually manage that would prevent also a couple of things. Thank you very much. Please, questions. Same. Very interesting. Uh, the next. Uh